Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we are working on Module 6, Lesson Number 6, and the objective today is, now say it with me, to use the area model and number line to represent mixed numbers with units of ones, tens, and hundredths in fractional and decimal forms. Yikes! Holy cow. Well, we're going to do four problems together tonight, and hopefully that'll give you a toehold so that you can climb up and scale the rest of the homework mountain tonight. Okay, let's take a look at one of the problems. Problem number one, we are going to shade the area models to represent the number, drawing horizontal lines to make hundredths as needed. Locate the corresponding point on the number line, label with a point, and record the mixed number as a decimal. Oh my goodness. Well, we've got so much to work on here. Well, let's take a look at first. We've got our number. Our number here is 2 and 35 one hundredths. And we've got these area models up here, right? So let's see. 2 and 35 one hundredths. Well, the easiest part is the 2, right? 2 holes. So that's going to be this hole. I'm just going to sketch that in real fast. And 2. Awesome. 2 and 35 one hundredths. Boy. 35 one hundredths. Let's see. 35 one hundredths looks like it's 3 tenths and 5 one hundredths. Now the 3 tenths I can do, right? I can just shade in 3 of the tenths. But the five one hundredths, it means that I'm going to need to redivide my units, right? I'm going to need to divide those tenths that I see here into ten pieces this way. So I'm going to grab my black pen and try to do that. So I'm going to say, let's see, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Okay, and now I'm going to shade in, let's see. Oh, it looks like five hundredths. So I'm going to grab my blue pen again and shade in one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if this makes sense now. I have two holes. That's right here. I have three tenths. There's one, two, three, and I have five hundredths. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. Now, let's see. How would that look on the number line? Let's see. Well, let's see. Let's just figure out where we would go. We know we're going to go all the way out to two, right? And then we're going to go all the way out, uh, let's see, three-tenths more, right? So we're going to out one, two, three-tenths more. And then we need to go out five-hundredths more. So I think we're going to be right here, right? Because that's going to be two, right? Three-tenths and then five-hundredths out to this point. Oops. See, I've messed that up already. Five-hundredths. Oh, boy. I cannot get that easily with my stylus. And I think that's going to get up to a point that is 2.35. And that's two holes, three tenths, five hundredths, 2.35. Awesome. Let's take a look at another problem. For problem number two, we're asked to estimate to locate the points on the number lines. So, again, we can look at these numbers, and we're going to have to figure out, let's see, how many tenths there are and how many hundredths there are. I'll do three, I'll do two B, I'm sorry. Let's see, we know that we're going to be up between three and four, because we've got a whole number of three. We're going to go up two tenths, which is going to be here, and then five hundredths. I think that's going to put us kind of in this range, somewhere right like that, right? I think that's going to be where we are. We're, we're about three point two five. Um, sorry for my handwriting there. Um, go ahead and check my work as well as doing 2A, and we'll just go ahead and move on to another problem. But I think that's a pretty good estimate of where we would be. Number three asks us to write the equivalent fraction in decimal and decimal for each of the following numbers. You know, I'm going to skip right ahead to, uh, let's see, 3E. Do this one. I'm going to do 9 ones and 62 hundredths. Okay, nine ones and sixty-two hundredths. Well, let's first write in fractional form. So how many holes do we have? Looks like we've got nine ones, right? So I'm going to say we've got nine holes and sixty-two hundredths. Well, in fractional form, that's really easy, right? It's sixty-two one-hundredths. Ha! Easy peasy. And actually, once we've had it written down that way, it's actually pretty easy to do a decimal form, too. We've got nine holes, six-tenths, two-hundredths, right? Nine point six two. Nine-tenths, sixty-two hundredths. Huh, awesome. All right, well, I think you guys can do the other five here, if those are what's assigned in your homework. Let's take a look at one more. This time, we are going to draw lines from dot to dot 
to match the decimal form to both the unit form and the fraction form. All unit forms and fractions have at least one match, and some have more than one match. ruh -roh. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, let's look. This one looks like it's in unit form. Four ones and eighteen hundredths. Four ones and eighteen hundredths. Let's see if that has four ones, but that doesn't look like eighteen hundredths. That's four ones, but that doesn't look like eighteen hundredths. This is four ones, and hey, that looks exactly like eighteen hundredths. I think we've got one. I'm gonna go ahead and match that up right away, and then I'll keep looking, see if see if there's another match. Is this four ones and eighteen hundredths? No, that's four ones and eight hundredths. And this looks like forty-eight. That's not going to do it. All right, let's see if we can match four ones and eighteen hundredths. Four point one eight to with one of these over here. Let's see, uh, four ones and eighteen hundredths. I think that's it. I think we got one right there. Right. Let's just check our work to see. Is this four one? No, that's forty-eight ones. That's not it. Is this four ones and eighteen hundredths? No, it's four ones and eight hundredths. And this one looks like four ones and eighty hundredths, not eighteen hundredths. So I'm really pretty happy with our two, uh, our two additions to this uh, to this little game. I think we've got this one matched up well, and I think we've got this one matched up well. I'll leave the other three matches to you, as well as the rest of the homework problems from tonight. And I'll see you next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems.